nearly all American seniors don't know or even want Bitcoin. Next on your four minute crypto news. Today's show is from a post by Nick Chong at News BTC and it's brought to you by Bitblock Boom. Take a look at the real Bitcoin conference that's coming to Dallas, Texas this summer at bitblockboom.com. I hope I get to see you in Dallas, Texas. It isn't a secret that senior citizens don't seem to understand Bitcoin or cryptocurrency. I personally really have a hard time with this since I am a senior citizen. Well, I'm 64, so I feel that's close enough. Warren Buffett is the perfect example of this aversion to cryptocurrency assets. Buffett claimed that Bitcoin was rat poison square back in 2018. And while Buffett's cryptocurrency literacy is questionable, I'm sure it's even worse for the majority of senior citizens. According to a survey of 1,000 retirees in America, Bitcoin really isn't too popular at all with seniors. In fact, one third of the respondents had never even heard of Bitcoin. What's worse, however, is the fact that 56.7% of those surveyed, they stated they knew Bitcoin, but were hesitant to ever own any. They chalk this up to their decision, the fact that they believe that cryptocurrencies are completely imaginary constructs and susceptible to jaw-dropping bubbles. Now, it is important to note that 2.7% of respondents did claim that they own some Bitcoin, but this is far from anything to write home about. Retirees may be against Bitcoin, but there are some that are, sh are sure that if you care about your financial future, Owning Bitcoin only makes sense. Since Bitcoin is currently trading at a little over $5,000, if the asset does succeed, even a small allocation purchase now would net an investor large sums in return. The risk on Bitcoin is asymmetric, meaning that if it fails, you lose a little, but if it succeeds, your small investment swells into unimaginable success. Even if those retirees don't go ahead with purchasing cryptocurrencies or Bitcoin in bulk, some don't see this as much of an issue. At the end of the day, this movement or revolution, if you want to call it that, is inherently targeted at younger generations. Sure, there has been some older folks, like myself, older folks, <laughs> that have taken a liking to Bitcoin. But most of my baby boomer friends have trouble understanding cryptocurrencies or Bitcoin. The fact of the matter is, those born before 1960 likely didn't grow up with access to computing, and they likely never stumbled across financial technologies. That makes it hard for them to wrap their mind around the magical internet money. Now, millennials and younger generations, on the other hand, have grown up their entire lives with the internet, digital items, and gaming. Now, while retirees are scared of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, there's been a large overlap between the millennials and cryptocurrency assets. And as millennials inherit $30 trillion from their parents over the coming decades, much of this money could find its way into Bitcoin and cryptocurrency assets. But even if only 1% of the $30 trillion floods into cryptocurrency, Bitcoin could find itself conservatively at $50,000. Like I said, as a senior citizen, I know that many of my friends do not understand or even care about cryptocurrency at all. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, especially if you're over 60. And don't forget to subscribe at 4minutecrypto.com slash subscribe for a new episode every weekday. I'm Gary Leland, and thanks for joining me on 4 Minute Crypto. This is a CryptoCousins.com production.